Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate Slack with GitHub Actions. So if you look at this diagram, uh, let's say that your team is using GitHub, that is where they are committing their code, uh, you are using GitHub Actions, and then your team members are using a Slack channel, and how do you notify that, right? So that, that's a simple use case what we are going to talk about in this short video. So let's get started. Uh, if you look at the prerequisite, yes, we need to have Slack workspace configured, and then we also need to have channel created as well. So, so this is my uh, Slack workspace. I already have a bunch of channels. So I just wanted to send a notification to uh, any one of the channel. Okay, and then I also have my project configured in GitHub as well. So this is my repository where I have, uh, you know, created a very simple Python based uh, project. I also have a Docker file as well. And all we are going to do is just check out the code, build the Docker image, and then we want to uh, send notification to our uh, developers or DevOps engineers, you know, whoever is using a Slack channel. All right, so let's get started. So if you're wondering what kind of actions uh, I'm going to use is, you know, I'm going to use this particular GitHub actions. Okay, so if you're wondering how I got here is go to actions marketplace, and then you just type Slack. When you do that, it's going to show you this one. So this is what we are actually going to use actions, right? So you click on here. So if you look at this action, what it is actually uh, record is, you know, we just need to create a, a incoming webhook URL and then we just need to uh, configure it, uh, add a proper channel to our webhook URL and then boom, you're done, right? So we just need to uh, go ahead and then create the Slack webhook URL as a secret, okay? Uh, and then that's it. And then if you look at the sample code, uh, so this is a sample code, right? You see here, that's it. So this is the tag and then that's it, right? And this is the channel. And then this is the job status. And then this is the steps. That's it, right? And you can also send uh, messages even before you start the build as well, right? So you can also do that as well. You can say status starting and then you can also do that as well. So that's it, right? So that's exactly what we are going to do in our project as well, okay? So let's go ahead and then create a new app. And that is where we are going to start adding our incoming web books and whatnot, okay? So let me click on this particular URL. So let's create a new app. If you have an existing app, you can also use your existing app as well. And then let's create uh, this app from the scratch. And then let's give some name. So I wanted to give my GitHub uh, actions integration something, right? And then select the workspace and then create an app. And then we need to enable incoming webhooks as we are going to post messages from our external source, which is nothing but GitHub Actions in this uh, use case. So click on this one and then activate it. And then all we have to do is add a new webhook. And then we just need to select our channel. So I wanted to use, let me see, right? I wanted to use probably this particular channel. Let's say that this particular channel is, you know, used by, I don't know, developers, DevOps, engineers, and whatnot. So click on allow. Okay, so there you go, right? So now if you can see here, the webhook URL got created. All we have to do is just copy this webhook URL and then we need to create as a secret as per uh, their documentation, isn't it? So I'm gonna go into my repository and uh, go to settings secrets and let's create a new secret that's the value and then the secret name is slack webhook url perfect click on add secret wonderful so that's it right so now we got our uh, you know secret created here perfect so if i go back to the documentation so we are pretty much done there all we have to do is you know just start creating a workflow Okay, so let me create the workflow. So I'm gonna go into my source code. Okay, so click on add file, create a new file. 
okay so let's say i wanted to create this workflow perfect and all we have to do is you know copy and paste right of course if you want you can also write uh, code uh, you know from the beginning but but it doesn't matter uh, i think we can simply do copy and paste and then we can start uh, customizing it so if you see here that's the name of the workflow and then my branch name is actually master so i'm going to change that into master and then uh, this is the uh, github hosted agent i wanted to run on ubuntu and then if you see here we already created this secret uh, with a slack webhook url and then this is the action tag okay and then i wanted to uh, notify as soon as the bill started i wanted to notify the channel members okay and then i wanted to check out the code like i said it's a very simple uh, python based uh, project i just wanted to build the docker image and then right after that i just wanted to notify them uh, the job is done or not that's all right and you can see here that this is a status and then this is the uh, channel name that's it so as you can see here this was able to send a notification so and and we got uh, you know everything is green here sending job status uh, you know success to slack if i go back to my uh, slack channel wow there you go guys do you all see here so as soon as the build started we got a notification starting docker build image and then as soon as the build finished and we also got this notification and if you wanted to click on this this will take you back where you know where you know everything was running right if i go back to my code there you go guys so this is the code right so this is the one which is actually you know sending a notification as soon as the build started and then this is the one which is actually uh, you know sending that notification right after the build is done you don't have to provide the name tag you just you can directly start using users that's it yeah so yeah so this is how guys you know this is how you can integrate slack with github actions thank you for watching this video